Just in case. Incoming hostiles. Just in case. This this might be a new video. Just in case this is a new video, welcome back. All of you. All of you must die. Three bullets. Warning. Just three. Hostiles inbound on your position. Oh wow. Oh. It's a division agent. Oh. I have to throw that like directly behind her in order or him in order to actually get that. division agents I face you have might have been the weakest I mean in a way I am rolling with a, a banging ass gun is there one left oh yes there is there's a lot of interesting data here looks like the LMB had eyes on everyone there's something weird here I'll get Rhodes on analysis right away Right. The remaining LMB troops are breaking. It's all over but the shouting, so link up with our people in the courtyard. We'll see where we go from there. I don't need their help. We're no still offense. doing room to room, but the last LMB effectives are given up. We've secured UNHQ. It's a damn shame about the <laughs> this is about to be fun. Oh, this is about to be crazy. I gotta take down a helicopter. What, are you serious? Do you know how crazy that is? Wow. What? Division knows how to do it. What is this? I have to that shoot at a helicopter. What the hell? Turret control, but if you can get the east turret, ow, 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 ow. What the hell? What the hell? Oh my goodness. Jesus. If I throw this out, what's gonna happen? Nothing. That I, I should have known. Well, I did know. I still wanted to try it. I can't even... This is probably about the weirdest thing in the game so far. <laughs> this is crazy. This is bullshit. I'm fighting a helicopter. Do you... Are you serious? This is weird. And he's like hovering right above me. He's not trying to leave. Pretty damn helpful if you get those turrets and flip them over to our side. The turrets. How do you, I do that? Wow, this is, uh... Agent, we still don't know what this thing's capable of. He said something about turrets and they're fried. Take cover now, now. 
Heads up, you've got ground troops incoming. LMB reinforcements. Watch your back down there. Ooh, there's a, a gun in there. Morning. Hostiles inbound on your position. Oh, crap. This is probably most likely... <laughs> wow, this is easily the craziest. Alright, let's go. If I die, I would be surprised. That's exactly right. To the last man. And I'm gonna be the last man. He said flip the turrets, but I don't see any... Uh, I'm gonna try something really quick. I'm gonna run up to a turret. If I can find one. Activate turrets, use the turret console, activate turrets to damage the helicopter. Warning. Okay. Hostiles inbound on your but position. Where? If I defeat this helicopter without any assist on turrets, yeah, you know. Oh, here we go, here we go. Activate that turret. Let's go, boys. I gotta find another one. Where is another one? I, I haven't even seen another turret. Calling you guys out, man. It's, there's another one. Oh shit. Where are you? There's another turret. There's always three, so I'm gonna look around. There's, there's the other one. I see it. I think, is that one? I think it is. No, it wasn't one. Oh yes, it was. All right, there's. I'm positive that there's only three, because when I came in here, I saw three turrets. I didn't see four. And if it was four, then that would have been a little weird. Mini games, they they always do four, three. I mean, what is this? No! <laughs> what the hell? That's bullshit! Oh crap! Oh crap! So I just found out that there were more turrets. There's a fourth. Oh snap! Don't take out the turret. Don't take out the turret. Took out the turret. Cool. Okay, this is a military base. There has to be at least four are down. There has to be at least two to three more. Two to three more. His health is pretty low. If I had to choose a signature skill to actually go with in this battle, I think I would have chose the resistance one. I don't think there are any more turrets. Here's one right here, okay. That'd be funny as hell if he actually destroyed the console, the, the terminal. I'm just glad it does damage. We don't really need. I'm putting him. I'm put him in the ground. Way in the ground. Put him under a building ground. Here we go. You gonna go through the building? No, you gonna land on the building. Disoriented. What? I'm positive he's still alive. How about that, Agent? He's not alive. The CEO of the last organized Ooh, threat to Manhattan. Look at all the purple. Wasn't easy, and we lost a lot of good people, but you broke the LMB's back. Nobody's going to be sweeping neighborhoods, Action's telling complete. people join and die at gunpoint. Not without Bliss running the show. In game. Still going to be squads out there, but unlocked. without the big man, we can handle them every day and twice on Sunday. 
new in-game PvE and PvP content will be available regularly. Wait, that was it? That was it? What about the the guy running around? I don't think that's the end. We don't get credits or anything? Hang on, I, I'm positive. Hold on, it just, it just says exit. If that was the end, well, I'm gonna do them side missions. Did let's hit the exit before. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna hit the exit first. And it, why is it jumping? Okay, whatever. I'm hitting this exit right here. That was actually. I died once, and when you die and he's almost dead, you get set way back. I lost everything. Well, I didn't lose everything, but yeah. <laughs> so whatever happened to the guy, the little rogue division agent? We don't get to take him down. Be a little upset if you don't get to take him down. Does it? So here we are, agent. We've made a pretty good team, I think. Done a lot for this city. A lot more than people thought we could. You and I both know this isn't exactly a happy ending. Our favorite homicidal traitor, Aaron Keener, is still out there, and he's still got Cherninko with him. Read Keener's file sometime. It's, uh, quite interesting. And we don't know where Amherst is either, or what else he might have up his sleeve, but... But there's hope. Dr. Candle's got the DCD on the road to a vaccine. You broke the LMBs back and the cleaners, and the Rikers, too. We took the city back like we promised we would. We're not done yet. As long as the Dark Zone's out there, we've got our work cut out for us, but we're on our way to finally saving the city. And with it, maybe something more. Not bad for the second wave, don't you think? Confirmed. I do think. Unidentified Shade Tech Beacon located. What are we talking about? Oh, okay, he's talking about the thing on the right. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and fast travel over here. Give me one second. Just a couple meters away from this. I don't know what it is, though. So they actually might do a second division. Who knows? Okay, let's go in. Escape the unknown. I kept telling myself, this guy actually might die right at the end. There'd be some crap if, it was, if that happened. Be like, wait. He killed my character. Oh, okay, that's what it is. Who is that? Oh, this is where the virus was made. He killed himself. That's what I'm assuming. Well, here I am, Aaron Keener, the first wave's prodigal son. Normally I'd do this face to face, but I'm not 100% sure which way you'll jump. You act one way when Ms. Lao is watching, and another way entirely when you're off the leash. That's an interesting contradiction. You see, I think that deep down, you get it. You know, the old rules, laws, governments, those things died on Black Friday. But the feral PMCs, the convicts, the ones smart enough and good enough to take what they need, they'll survive. Me? I'm gonna prosper. Oh, you could too, but you took an oath, right? You got a duty. Those are both ways of saying that your conscience is fucking you. You ask yourself, who has earned a right to tell you what to do? Do you know how many agents died to hold the dark zone just for the brass to give up and put a wall around it? You don't believe me? You should check the place out for yourself. But the people you're working for, they're irrelevant now. Amherst changed how the game is played, and I have got the vision to win. I got Chernenko, I got a DNA printer, and a very interesting recipe book. I'm gonna write my own rules. You should think about getting in on this thing. I'll be seeing you. Okay. This part actually made me, like, nervous, because I kept hearing footsteps when I was, like, in the room. Agent, 
The information you found in that lab was the crown jewel. I think we can break this thing now. But we've got some more information. A voice from the grave. Listen to what Amherst has to say. Readings indicate an echo nearby. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and check this out really quick. What you're looking at is the smallpox virus, one of the deadliest pathogens on the planet. For centuries, it did a wonderful job of helping keep the human population in check. But times change, and sometimes Mother Nature needs a hand in improving her creations. Like, say, speeding them up a little bit, making them contagious when they should be quietly incubating in a host, or making them more lethal. I didn't come up with the approach on my own. My friend Vitaly is one of the pioneers in the field, and the idea has been around for years. Genome as data. You see, once we digitized DNA, we made it infinitely mutable. We could do a thousand virtual variations in the time it used to take to grow a one-lab-grade generation of pathogens. And we could pick the best, most lethal combinations and make them real. That's how you make a killer virus, you see. Mix in genetic code from other diseases, and you move the sliders all the way up on lethality and virulence. The goal was a 90% mortality rate. I'm not sure my green poison is going to quite hit that, but honestly, that's just details. As long as most of humanity goes, the Earth stands a fighting chance. Technically, technology is what's killing the planet. But that's not really the case. It's the greed that drives the technology. But a funny thing happened on the way to $100 genome maps and 3D printed plastic toys. Someone figured out those technologies could be repurposed, modified for the greater good. Me. Now, my virus is gonna do what nature's always done. Decide who lives and who dies. And if nature decides I die, then I die. If nothing else, I'll have a lot of company. Natural selection at its finest. Helped along by a little unnatural genetic manipulation. It's all data, really. Life's just a method of processing it. The same way I processed the smallpox genome on my laptop. And who's to say that wasn't the plan all along? If, by some miracle, you survive green poison, then nature's decided you deserve to live. The rest of us shouldn't and won't. Godspeed. I'll see you in hell. Okay, that was, uh, well, okay. Um, <laughs> that was, uh, wow. All right, so that was officially the end of the game. Um, that's, that's, uh, really it. Is it, isn't there, like, credits? There's no credits whatsoever. Can I go to the set and look for credits? No credits? Okay. There is, oh, yep, there's credits. Here's the credits. Here we go. There we go. All right. <laughs> I'm going to roll the credits for my own personal reasons. All right, well, the game is over. Um, Aaron, still out there, so that actually might make a sequel to the next game. Um, the guy who created the virus died, and the guy who helped him make the virus was that Russian guy that we tried to rescue, but he got kidnapped by Aaron. So who knows what's going to go down. If they do make a second one, I hope they do make it way better than this one and throw more stuff into it. This game, overall, if I had to give it a rating, I would give it a beautiful 9. A high 9. A high ranking 9. I wouldn't give it a 10 because it lacks a couple things. Um, but that's actually going to be it for this walkthrough. I'm actually a little sad that it's over. But I am going to hit those side missions. 
But if you did like this video, you know, do smash that like button. And I'll come back at you guys with some more division with some ciders. But until then, peace. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay frosty.